Good evening. I am, as that disembodied voice said, Lauren Laverne, thrilled to be here and, of course, thrilled to be able to thank you for being here this evening. I'm looking forward to being surprised. I think that's the point of coming to anything like this, is to, to see something new. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But obviously, kind of, you know, I guess what everybody is, is looking forward to, discovering the really exciting, talented new people who are going to be the fashion stars of tomorrow, really. I love the student fashion show. They're the best. They're much better than real fashion shows. Why? I always come to these shows. Um, it's one of the best graduate fashion shows around. Um, I support the LCF. I have done for many, many years. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Because young talent will support us through our old age. Young talent is the next talent, and after that there's another lot of young talent. We need it. It's self-generating and regenerating. It's vital. It's the lifeblood of the industry. Without it, there wouldn't be a perpetuation of new ideas, bold ideas, there would be no challenge. It's vital. Um, and we're very proud of the fashion industry that we nurture in this country. So, you know, we've got to support it. It's our duty. I came to the show tonight because I went to LCF uh, many years ago. And um, I think this is like my fourth year running that I've been to this. So, uh, always keen to support <coughs> new talent. Uh, I would like to welcome Christopher Rayburn up here. Welcome, Christopher. Um, yeah, my name's uh, Christopher Rayburn, and I'm uh, currently at the CFE, so I'm part of their venture programme, which is really a, a two-year sort of incubation uh, idea where it takes young designers, generally on the new gen scheme, and then it sort of uh, cocoons you to the next level. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to be there at the moment. Uh, well, I've been coming to the LCFMA show for three or four years now and it's always um, such a strong uh, lineup and um, I think LCFMA is really like improving year on year. Why have I come? Well I've got to uh, I've got to present an award this evening, in fact two awards for the um, best uh, MA graduate so uh, hopefully I've come because uh, I should be here. Why have I come to show? Listen I am uh, an alumni of the London College of Fashion. When I studied here they didn't have the facilities that they have today, all I can tell you is that the designers that come out of London College of Fashion are so creative, so talented, and the whole tribute I give back is to the education the London College of Fashion gives and fulfills. And to be able to hold this show tonight at um, you know the Victoria and Albert Museum, to me, is, is something that's incredible. It's an impeccable organization. And um, this is what design and fashion is all about. This is where you should be tonight. There's nowhere else to be tonight. And London College of Fashion is becoming the College of Fashion in London. Um, hello as well to everybody who's watching this live on the LCF and not just a label websites. Oh, well, it's really exciting. I got uh, the email from uh, Not Just a Label today, and so it's the first I'd heard that it was going to be live streamed. So it's great that it can be shared by more people than that, the privileged few who are here. Very exciting, very contemporary, and probably, well, just keeping up the times, isn't it? Um, I think it's probably a necessity these days. If the designers are doing it, then we should be. So, absolutely. There aren't that many colleges that do that. In fact, I, I think LCF might even be the only one. So it is really, really um, amazing that they're able to do that. And I think it takes fashion live streaming to like a different level. So I'm looking for something different. And that's always hard, isn't it, for a new season? I think some novelty, something different, something to combat the dour sort of times we live in. A lot of culture fashion because I think it is, it specializes in tailoring, it creates quality from the concept of being able to cut a pattern, pattern design, fabric design, product design, and just the fact that it's pure altruism right the way through to the respect that people give the designers once they've graduated here from London Culture Fashion. London is, is a, you know, such a style capital and it always has been and it's kind of partly because of its history uh, and also partly because of its attitude and I think that's one of the interesting things about London as a city it kind of has uh, a mixture of tradition and then this kind of like 
uh, iconoclastic attitude to fashion which wants to take that tradition apart and that tension is what what makes people who train here and live here and, and are kind of into that type of thing especially interesting. All of it's a highlight. I mean, fantastic show. The staff and the students have worked so hard. I mean, I think the, the real highlight for me was the fabrics. There were some amazing fabrics. And the students actually produced the fabrics. So it's, they're not bought off the stands. It's a total concept. There's weaving there, there's embroidery there. There's rapid prototyping there, and I just thought some of the fabrics were just stunning. So I was really pleased, really pleased.